Good afternoon. Is this thing on? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. They told me I'm only allowed to talk for an hour, so you guys are in luck. I had to cut my speech in half. <laughs> they also told me I'm not allowed to stand up here and tell jokes at all times. I have to actually talk about something. So I tried to weave them into the subtext, so pay attention. <laughs> Keep your eyes and ears open. It's a great day to be alive. I promise. St. John Baptist Taylor of South. Pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts. Forever. That is a strong tradition. It's going to be burned into your memory for the rest of your life. You're probably going to miss it someday. This is about pride. And that's one of the things that your time, how you receive today, represents. It's the kind of pride to be reminded of when 10 years from now, one of your buddies who didn't attend a school at CDA says, how do you tie this thing on the way to a wedding or some kind of event? You can't buy pride. It happens when you're not looking. But you can't lose it if you don't remember to celebrate. OK, today, we're going to talk about first, well, they always say, talk about what you know. So we're going to talk about a day of the week. Split personality. Pay attention, I'm going to quiz you on these. Biting your nails, sword fighting, and baseball. Pop quiz, what's my first topic? Day of the Beach. Okay, so there's this elderly man, he was up to 90 years old. His name was Harold Linderman. He died a while back, but he would come back, he, you know, this was maybe 10, 15 years ago. He would come down to the beach. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about deciding who you want to be. Pick your personality. It's important for two reasons. First, people will treat you by how they perceive you. And they will perceive you by how you present yourself. And if you want to be treated like you think you deserve to, you need to act like the kind of man you think you are. Second, you're the only person you'll know your entire life, so you better like the guy you're spending all this time with. But it doesn't happen automatically. You have to form yourself, and you have to create good habits to do so. So who remembers what was next on the list? Sword fighting. Habits, fighting your nails. It's just a bad habit. If you read the books, the Freakonomics series of books, they suggest that the best way that you can get good at something is simply to practice more than anybody else. And what do people say? Practice makes... Perfect. Wrong. Practice makes permanent. Only perfect practice makes perfect. You will become what you do most. Do the things that you know will take you toward your goals. The time for wandering is over. This doesn't mean you can't enjoy the ride. You should enjoy the ride. Look around and enjoy every minute of it. But set your goals and work toward them. And not against yourself. Remember, gentlemen, it's lonely at the top. But you can eat better. <laughs> and the view is incredible. But you can't find your way there by accident, because gravity pulls you down. Nothing, then, that is worth attaining comes easy. And now, sword fight. Gentlemen, a good sword needs to be sharp. It's meant to cut, and it has to cut well. But if a sword is too brittle, it snaps when it strikes. So a good sword needs to flex. Now this isn't easy. You can't just pour molten metal into a mold and immediately have a good sword. You, in your junior year, are like the steel of a sword, being prepared for a warrior. The best swords in the world are heated up to incredible temperatures and struck repeatedly with a hammer. The impurities burned out of the metal and the shape beaten into the sword formed by an expert swordsman. Gentlemen, the challenges that surround you act to temper you and prepare you for the battle of life. And like the sword, you need to be sharp in wit and intellect, but flexible so that you can adapt to life's challenges. So what's left on the list? Baseball. There's one thing you need to keep in focus. God's presence. Like it or not, he's there. And he wants nothing more than to see you succeed and join him in heaven. It's unfortunately rare that popular media at best ignores God and at worst avoids the topic. However, occasionally, in a live interview, someone well-respected unexpectedly broaches the topic. This happened recently. When of her hater, the great Yankee pitcher Mariano Rivera broke the record for the most safe games in history. I'm going to paraphrase what he said in, his, in two of his post game interviews. He thanked God for the opportunity and the talent to experience such great success. Now that's awesome. Here is someone who could easily take all the credit for his accomplishments and completely ignore God's role in his life. In fact, he probably feels like a guy himself sometimes, holding the outcomes of these high-stakes baseball games in the palm of his hand. But instead, he realizes that God gave him the foundation on which to build throughout his life and put him on earth to do what he does best. You have the tools that God gave you, and you are in the right place to use them to build something wonderful. It's up to you, however, to choose what to do, because God wants it that way. All this adds up to an exciting but
the challenging junior year. Wear your tie with pride because you deserve it, because you are here. Not everybody has made the choices you have that brought you here, and not everybody has been given the opportunities that you have. Don't forget that. So there you have it. Mr. Lindemann taught us about attitude. You learn that you aren't necessarily who you think you are, at least not yet. You learn that some habits are good, some are bad, but you should be aware that they take you places. And the best stories are forged, and the best men are strengthened through experience. And none of this will be possible without the gifts God gave us, whether your name is Mariano or Michael. As you get older, your responsibility will increase. The challenges in front of you will become more difficult. The temptation to take the easy way out will strengthen, and the moral and ethical decisions will present themselves more often. And Jesus Christ will be looking upon you, smiling, and praying that you make the decisions to become the man God made you to be. Good luck, and Godspeed. We're all counting. Have a great evening.